Hi guys, I'm David with MediaUnlock.net and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your color style using Technicolor CineStyles if you wanted to add that to your Canon camera. I'll be using a Canon 60 specifically for this video, but this will work with any camera. One thing I should mention real quick though, if you are uploading it I think to a T2i or T3i, turning the CineStyle color profile on in the camera once you've installed it onto the camera uh, can be a little confusing so I'm going to pop up a video right now that you can come back to and click at the end of this video that will show you how to turn it on inside your camera once you put it on your camera so uh, installing is really easy guys really simple um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the EOS utilities software installed as well because you will need that if you don't it's really easy to get um, I've already got Canon, the Canon website pulled up. I've got the Canon 60 because that's what we're using today. And it's really simple. We're just going to go to once you find your camera and if you don't know or if you, if you don't have the Canon 60 and you're using a different camera, just go find the right camera and uh, you'll be able to follow the same exact steps here. So I'm on my camera. I'm going to go to drivers and software. Um, this is the operating system I have. If you have a different operating system than what it tells you, pick the correct operating system if you know. We're going to go to software, and then from software, we're going to download the EOS utility software. So I'll click on that to download it. Um, I'm going to uh, click for the disclaimer, hit download, and then it's going to pop up and ask you for your serial number. Um, you will find your serial number on the bottom of the Canon cameras. So if you have like a battery grip or something like that, that on, remember you need to take the battery grip off and take a look at the actual camera at the bottom of it. Type in that serial number, click submit, and then you can download the software and then install it. So uh, if you've already got the EOS utility software installed or now that you have it installed, we'll jump back over to the CineStyle download. We're going to hit download right here over to the right. Now this will be link number one. So uh, if you look in the description bar, check out link number one as well. Uh, link number two will link you right to the Canon 60 part of the Canon website. Um, uh, link number two will just take you right here. So if you have a different camera, then you can just go over to the EOS camera and then uh, select a different camera, whatever camera you have. So now I'm going to fill out some information of who I want to be today. I think I'm going to be Kevin Durant. Uh, any basketball fans out there will get a kick out of that maybe. Um, all right. Put my email address in, mediaunlocked101 at gmail.com. Um, one thing to mention, if you guys ever need to get a hold of me, feel free to email me to this email. Um, I do my best to answer all questions and help people out as much as possible. Name of company which I don't believe you have to put that down, no comments. And then this daggum thing, which I swear half the time, I think it's one thing and it's not, and I have to do this like twice, but I think this time around I'm gonna beat it. I don't know if that's a nine or a G. I don't, I don't know, or maybe a weird looking J. Let's see if I got it right. I, I guess I got it right. Okay, so once you've done that, you're just gonna jump on over to your email. It just sent it to me. We're gonna click that, we're gonna click download, and it is going to download in a second. Let's see here. Up oh, there it goes. It has started. Uh, we'll click this show in folder, and then I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to drag and drop this right to my desktop, which you guys won't see for a second. So I'll pull them over onto the <laughs> the screen I'm recording on here. So we'll download, downsize that, bring these guys over here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our camera via USB. You have to do this via USB camera to, to your computer. Again, we're using the Canon 6D. And turn it on. And now I've got the EOS uh, utility already installed. So we're going to click Remote Shooting. Click Register User Defined Style. Fumbling over my words today. Um, and then once you've done that, um, one other thing to mention, make sure that you are in the photography mode and not the video mode. As well, make sure that you are in the M mode within the photography mode. Just make sure you got that or you're going to get confused, you're going to get lost, and uh, you will not be able to install this onto your camera and you'll get really frustrated. And then you'll probably get a comment from you and I'll tell you to put it in the photography mode or the M mode and then you'll be fine. It'll be easy peasy. Uh, so we're going to click here. Um, I put it on my desktop. You can put it wherever. I just throw it on my desktop because I know exactly where it's at. It's easy to find. I don't have a lot of things on my desktop. So uh, let's find it. There it is. There's the user defined. And then we're going to click OK. 
Okay, second, boom, it's on there. Now this is gonna work with any other color profiles that are out there, because there are um, a lot of other options out there, some that people have made. Uh, well, I guess all of them have been made by people. Uh, I hope no robots are making random color styles or other beings that we don't know are as intelligent. Um, but, uh, so there's a lot of them out there that people uh, ha have, have created that you can find on the internet, some you have to pay for, some are free. Um, so if you find one that you really like for a specific shot or something, you're just going to use the same exact steps. Download it and then uh, upload it through EOS Utility. Um, anyways, again, I'm going to pop up that link uh, a second time just to be nice for you guys. So you don't have to go back to the beginning of this video for people that had the T2I or T3I, um, maybe even the T4I, I can't remember. Um, and this will show you how to unlock it within the camera once it's been installed. So hopefully this helped you guys out. It's always a blast helping you guys. Uh, leave your comments down below, uh, emails, check us out on medianlock.net. We got lots of exciting information coming out, uh, constantly at least one blog to two blogs a week. And uh, we, just, we just have a lot of fun making videos here at Media Unlocked. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.